in our view, obviously the world is changing very quickly. There's an awful lot of change happening in every single market and in the world around us. And, and so the challenge is, how do you prepare your organization for that uncertain future? So we think you need to think about three different time horizons. Firstly, what are we trying to do in the next 12 months uh, in order to move our business forward? And what could change in the world around us that could affect that? Secondly, to take a longer term horizon to look one to three years out and say, where's growth going to come from? Where's innovation going to come from? And that's where understanding external changes could really help us. because. If we understand trends, forces, ideas that could shape the future, then we can see how they might help accelerate some of our ideas, how they might give us some alternative options, and also how they might create some barriers. And then finally, we think it's also important to understand what could shape the longer term, four to ten years out, and what are some of the different scenarios for how our markets could play out. That's not to create strategies for four years time or ten years time, but really, if you understand what's coming on that kind of horizon, then you can come back and look at the present and say, okay, what do we need to do in the next one to three years to make sure we're innovative enough, flexible enough, forward thinking enough and agile enough to respond whatever happens in the longer term. So it's understanding the big picture in order to make better decisions today and give us better capabilities in the next few years. The next thing I think is very important is to understand how those forces, technological change, faster innovation in the marketplace, new business models, etc. How all of those things are coming together to create new industries, which might create new opportunities for us, and how they're also changing the way business is done in our own sector, so we can both anticipate and respond to those changes. And finally, it's really important to think about how do we have a framework in our own business to be able to respond to all these ideas in very clear ways so we don't overload ourselves with change and find that we kind of get paralyzed by all the things we're trying to do. So you need some real clarity about what are the vital few things we're gonna focus on in order to have most impact in preparing us for the future. One of the things we see is that businesses want uh, a really practical framework for helping them respond to all this change that's going on and all these forces coming to them for the future. So we created what we're calling the 10M framework that allows you to look at your business through a different lens. Five of the factors we look at are external facing and five are internal. So the first external facing one is mission. And that's really about saying, you know, how do we create a purpose for our company which kind of ignites passion for people? It isn't some boring, you know, standard management speak thing, but something that really ignites our people, makes it clear to our customers what we're trying to do for them, and gives us a reason to exist. The second is about markets, you know, understanding how change could affect our customers and what they're trying to do in the marketplace, how it could shape existing markets, how it could create new markets for us, and how it might influence the way we go to market. The next is about magic. Uh, as firms become more automated in what they do, it's harder to differentiate because everyone looks the same, roughly speaking, through a screen. So that's about saying, what are we doing and what can we do to create a wow factor for our customers so that they talk about us and we really stand out as having done something exceptional for them. The next one is about business models. And that's really about saying, how do we do business? How do we get our product to market? What are our relationships? How do we charge for our goods and services? and really challenging ourselves to say, what are the right models for us to compete in the future? And the final external facing one is around message and meaning. So that's about saying, if we look at everything we're doing, how well does that square up to the marketing we do about our business? And how do we make sure that there's a real consistency and actually through our actions in the marketplace, we create a very strong message about who we are, where we add value and why you should work with us. And then there are five internal facing ones that we think are very important to think about. The first is around myth. So every business has a set of myths about how the world works. We need them because the world's way too complex to deal with the truth and reality of everything. So we have these assumptions, we have these stories about how the market works, why we're successful, what it is we're good at. And those are great until they stop being true because the world's changed on us. And then we have to update our myths and create new assumptions and stories that help us make sense of the world and give us a context for our strategy. 
The next is about mastery, and that's about saying what are those core competencies or those core capabilities we need to be excellent at as a business in order to thrive. So increasingly, from all organizations, that's about managing information technology to create value, not just to keep the systems running. It's about uh, the kind of management capabilities we need to lead a fast-changing organization. The next one is about muscle, and that's about saying, as well as the core capabilities that we need to have mastery of, what are the new things that we've got to learn to, to do in order to win in the future? So for a lot of companies, that's about things like learning how to use artificial intelligence. It's about learning how to make decisions much faster and execute faster. It's about developing the kind of internal strength to be able to do rapid experimentation and be willing to fail fast and cheap on a lot of the experiments. Um, the next uh, internal factor is about mindset. And that's about how do we build a culture inside this organization that's forward looking, that is willing to bring ideas in from the outside, and that is willing to fail fast and cheaply and try new things continuously and not sit back on our laurels. Uh, and the final one is about management, which is all about, so how do we manage all of this stuff in our organization? How do we organize our resources? How do we lead? How do we develop people? And how do we make sure the skill sets we're building inside our organization are those that will help us succeed in the future rather than those that were useful for the past? So that's the things like collaborative thinking, rapid problem solving, scenario thinking, and all of those kinds of skills that are going to be very important to help us navigate uh, a rapidly changing world.